Hello, hello. Thank you, replay viewers, for tuning in. Um, as today I'll be talking about um, organizing TPT materials. Oh, hi, everyone. Um, and as people are coming in, <laughs> I'm excited, Hallie. Um, so as people are coming in, I'll quickly introduce myself. Let's see, let's turn this around. Okay. Hi. Um, so I am Marisha. I blog over at Road to Speech and I just got a new website and I'm so excited. Um, so you can find me at roadtospeech.com um, and I'll have more information about all of the things I'm going to show you today. Um, so be sure to check it out and if there's anything, um, any of the, if you like any of the organizational um, tools that I have, you can find links to them there. Um, so here, let's Let's get moving and I'll show you. Um, but hi, Nessa. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a good Monday. Mondays can be rough. Um, today was a little bit crazy here. Um, but so I have a lineup of things for you guys. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so I have today is mostly about like little TPT stuff. Um, but I have a couple more things that I want to show you um, in future scopes. So today will just be the beginning. But because um, I and I here, let me turn this around for. OK, so because um, I've tried a lot of different things, you're probably going to think I'm crazy for all the <laughs> different kinds of organizing stuff that I have. Um, but I have like I've been trying to find which system works best for me, and I think I found it. Um, but in the meantime, I still have all these other things. So I just thought it would be a good time to show you what I have. And then you can decide what would work best for you. Um, and then, oh, yeah. So how many of you struggle or because I, I assume you're here. But how many of you feel like, hi, K. Paul. What's your name? Karen? Oops. Um, so hi, Karen. So um like, let me know if you guys feel like you've got all the TPT materials under control because I feel like there's so many things and they're all so different. It's a little bit tricky. <laughs> um, so tap that screen if you're in the same boat as me because, oh, my goodness. Um, so let me turn this around. Hi, Raina. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah, it can get really messy because they're all so different. So here, let me show you. Um, so this is... The first thing that, so TPT is teachers pay teachers. Um, but so this is the first thing that I ever tried. And um, I like it because I could see everything at once and it was a great place to put like all of the little cards and things. Um, but I quickly outgrew that and I didn't want to have like <laughs> 5 million of these. Um, so I got this. I think it was at Office Depot, but they should have them at most office supply stores. And I also found it on Amazon. Um, yeah, Deanna, it's tricky. So that's the first thing. And then um, the next two things are I went a little bit crazy with the caribou cards. Um, but this is like a bead organizer. And um, I can't remember where I got these from. But I put all of the little caribou cards in there. Um, and I haven't gotten to make uh, little covers for them yet, but that's something I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, this was at Michael's for like a dollar. It was really cheap. Um, and then this was really cheap too. Um, it's a photo box that also came from a craft store. Um, yeah, the bead or because sometimes, oops, sometimes some of the stuff is a little bit uh, expensive, but these two are super cheap. So for this, I have... <laughs> it was a little bit crazy, but I bought that one of the caribou bundles, um, maybe rock chalk speech. I'm not sure, but it has like stuff for um, all sorts of seasonal and um, like apraxia. So it was, I think it's a couple bundles combined, but it's really nice to be able to grab these and stick them on caribou and I'm ready to go. And this was a cheap thing to set up. Um, yeah, they are envelopes, so I can show you like got the ocean animals one and then we have all the little cards inside so it's like a pretty cheap um, organization fix and then 
Um, let me know if you guys have questions, but I'm trying to be pretty quick because we try and keep these short and sweet. Um, so the system with the envelopes, um, yeah, so I put like red for kind of seasonal stuff, blue for the apraxia things, and then I separated because I had more blue here. Um, it was, I think this is one of Jenna's things with for processes. Um, yeah, this is a Jenna thing. So it had cards for that and then um, some vocabulary stuff. So just like different categories of goals. So there's that. And then this guy, um, I think this would be really good for traveling SLPs because it's just like you can close it up like a little suitcase. Um, and then I just put all of the different cards in here and it's nice because I sort it by different areas. Um, so it's just got a little bit of everything. And then I, if I want to get materials ready for the day, I can just grab what I'm going to use. And if I was like super, super on top of it, I might have it labeled, but I don't. Um, but I feel like I know where the stuff is and it's see-through, so it's really easy to figure it out. So, um, oh, thanks, Dean. And then, so I have these envelopes. Um, I can't remember exactly what they're called. Um, so this came from, I got it at a craft store. Um, and it's kind of expensive when it's not on sale. Um, but it has, uh, I got it with a 50% off coupon that they have at like Joann's or Michael's. But they also have it on Amazon. Um, and I have a link in my blog post. But I think that Michael's is a little cheaper if you can get. Yeah, the inside cases were included. And they have like smaller ones too. I like this because I could fit a bunch. Um, it is. It's in the scrapbooking supplies. Um, but they have ones that have maybe like four or six of them. And so it's just a little piece. Um, but then they also have ones that are, like this is the extra large one. But I feel like it met my needs. And then I've got these, I'm blanking on what they're called. But they're plastic envelopes. And I have a bunch of them and they come in different colors. Um, and I also have links to these on my blog post, but and I'll give you a bit.ly link for it later so you can find it easily. Um, and I'm going to update my pictures and make sure everything's um, organized. But I put like different packets in here. So um, like this is a really cool one by Speech Sanity for like cluster reduction. Um, yeah, and it has like this has a bunch of little cards in it. And so it fits and I just put these in a file cabinet. Um, and I kind of sort them by area, but like here, all the cards are all in one piece. So I can just grab it and then I have my, um, yeah, this would be fun for donors choose to like get some organization stuff. And then I also like these, um, they're like also a different kind of storage thing. Um, and I have um, the little envelopes in here and so this is um, teaching talkings little units and so I have like the, the things for the barrier games and the worksheets and all of that so that's a um, nice and I put use also use this for AEC stuff so that's another thing and then yeah this is a good this is a good find lots of good seasonal vocabulary and then I'll show you this so the things that I use the most often I have hanging up here. Um, so it's just quick and easy and I can grab it quickly. Um, yeah, and the see-through stuff makes it really easy. Oh, I'm sorry if I was moving. Um, and this is my therapy room. I had, ah, I moved again. Sorry, guys, I'll stop. <laughs> so feel free to take screenshots. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great because these are those are my uh, teaching visuals, and they have a little bit of everything. Um, and I can put a link to those in the post too if you guys are interested. But um, okay, so now I'll move over, and this is my very, 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 very favorite thing. Um, I usually have it in the corner, so it looks a little funky. But um, so this, I made these little labels 
and <laughs> it is amazing because I can fit um, all of my different little decks of cards. So I'm obsessed with this and I'm just going to switch everything over to this pretty much um, because I can just, okay, I'm trying to work on this. So then I can just look through all of the stuff I have um, and it's amazing. And you can get it, they have it at the craft stores. Um, but I was looking at different reviews and the ones at like Michael's and stuff weren't so great. Um, but the ones on Amazon had a little better reviews and they were not too badly priced, but it sounds like they also have some at Sam's Club. So that's pretty fun. And then, um, so, okay, I, it's hard to close with one hand. Um, and then just the last thing, and I'll back up again here. Sorry for shaking you guys. Okay, so if you want, I think it's like 30-ish dollars. So my school does have a color printer, um, but it stopped working. Um, but I've been doing the um, HP Instant Ink, and for like $10 a month, I get to print uh, 300 pages, and it's like, it doesn't matter how much ink you use, and it's amazing. Um, and I'll put a link up for that in the blog post, too. Um, so the drawers are, they could fit, like, regular pieces of paper and maybe something a little bigger. But here I'll show you, like, for comparison. Like, these products could fit in there, too. So that could be kind of cool. Um, I feel like I could buy tons of these, but I'm trying to keep myself from getting too much. Um, so, yeah, and it's, because then if I, since I'm making everything myself, I kind of want to be able to take it. Um, and then I just have to share this. It's not TPT, but, oops, sorry for flipping you guys, but, um, I made these little, I put, like, started sorting my books into bins, and I've been obsessed. It's been really fun. Um, so... That'll be, this will be the last thing that I show you. And I'll flip around again. Sorry for the changes. Um, but it makes it so much easier to find what I'm looking for. And I'll talk to, I'll share more about book organization and how I keep all worksheets and stuff all organized. Um, but I think I'm over time already. So, um, so here is my contact information. If you, I scope on my own channel too, um, here on Periscope, so at Road to Speech, so I'll be sharing more ideas. Yes, I will share more. So next week I was thinking about doing some digital stuff, but I'll also show you guys binders and stuff in the future. I've got lots and lots of stuff. And then this is the bit.ly link. Yeah, I like binders too. Um, so this is the bit.ly link to the blog post, and I will add, like, I'll be updating it as soon as I get home. Um, so if you check it right now, it'll have some stuff, but I'll be adding all the new stuff. So any questions before we wrap up? Um, Trish, I kind of go through phases. I know I have a ton of stuff, um, and I'm trying to figure out, like, what works best for me. So... I think as I kind of get more into a groove and maybe if my caseload ever stabilizes, I'll kind of pick us materials, but I kind of have a little bit of everything. Um, so if there's no, yeah, it is overwhelming. Um, and so right now I work with preschool through sixth grade um, and I have a pretty wide variety of, like, re pretty typically developing kiddos with just a few things um, going on. And I do, speechy SLP, I do a little bit of mixed organization. Like, my books are by theme, and the caribou stuff is by theme, but a lot of the other things are by, like, skill. Um, so, yeah, feel free to email me. I'll pop back to my contact information. Um, feel free to email me if you have any other questions, and I'd love to chat. Um, if you're, like, wanting to just get some ideas for where to go with your room. Um, and, 
yeah, I did. If you go to my website and click on videos, you can see um, my room, but I've kind of changed it up a little bit since the last time I did it. So I might do another walkthrough on my personal channel. Um, that's a good idea. Okay, so I will let you guys go. I hope you had a nice, <laughs> not too hard Monday. Um, and I will see you guys soon.